this is your next fourth grade math video. Um, tonight I'm going to show you what we're doing with multi-digit multiplication, a two-digit number times a one-digit number. And one of the strategies your children will be using is called partial products. And that means basically that we're going to find parts of our answer and then we're going to put them together. And what's nice about this strategy is that there's no carrying involved. So if we look at the problem 43 times 3, we first, just like normal, do 3 times 3, and we know that 3 times 3 is 9. So we're going to put the 9 down. The next step is to work with the 4. And in partial products, we want to think, what is the value of that 4? And it's in the tens place, so we know the value of the 4 is 40. So in our heads, we're going to think, instead of 3 times 4, we're going to think 3 times 40. And something that your kids have been learning is we can think three times four is 12. And there's one zero in 40, so we'll add the zero, one zero at the end. So we know three times 40 is 120. Now that we have our partial products, we can add them together to get our answer of 129. And that's the partial product strategy. The other way that we are practicing is that standard algorithm way that we all learned growing up. So we can do the exact same problem with the standard algorithm strategy. And that's the regular old way. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. We put down the 2 and carry the 1. And then 1, times, or one plus nothing is 1. And so you can see with either strategy, we get the same answer. So now if you have a clue in on what your kids are working on in multiplication with partial products or standard algorithm.